I want to show you a little concept for an, uh, playing over an E7 chord and playing in and out of the key. And it might sound really, really fancy, but it's actually a very, very simple approach. Um, I'll play a little bit and then I'll explain how I do it. Okay, so what I just did is I exaggerated a little bit because it might have sound unmusical in some places, but I just wanted to show a certain kind of concept. So the idea is um, if we're in an E chord, you have the anchor notes of the chord, which is just a triad. So let's say E, G sharp, 1, 3, 5, 1, 3, 5, 1, 3, 5, you can add the 7. So those are your anchor chord notes. So basically you can play anything around those notes and as long as you're um, resolved to one of the co note chords, you're in good shape. It sounds like you're, you meant it, even if you didn't. <laughs> so the idea is if you see the notes around those chord notes, you're in good shape. That's really the trick. So if this is a triad here of an A, E, E chord. Yep. So what you want to see is you want to see the half a step below and the half a step above. So if this is a half a step below, it'll be this. I'm going to play half a step below each note of the triad. So if this is an E. Okay, and then you can see the half a step above. It's the same thing just above. So it'll be half a step above each of the notes of the chord. And then you can have both of them together, so... So that's, that's a pretty simple idea, but it's pretty powerful because it basically means that anything you can play half a step below or above you can resolve to any one of those notes of the chords and it's fine. It sounds like you kind of drift out of the, the scale and you came back. So that's what I do a lot. I can take a line, for example, like I'll take an Albert King line. Yeah, like a blues line. I can take a part of it half a step up, for example. So that's like that part when he went half a step up that's like where it sounds kind of out. You can do the same thing half a step down. So I took that thing and I came back really quick. So you can take any line that you have and basically think about it half a step up or down. Same thing you can do with those kind of notes around the anchor notes of the chords. Like you actually can play if this is an E. Now the idea is you really want to cover this idea all over the neck. So you want to know the triad everywhere. E triad. All over the neck. And then if you see all those other notes around those notes, then you pretty much cover the whole neck. Half a 
up, uh, this is half a step down, into the E, this is half a step up. So you can do all this stuff that you can kind of take any form or anything that you, you like to play and experiment with moving it half a step up, half a step down. Now the longer you take it out, either half a step down or up, the longer it's going to sound that you're playing out really. So the idea is you have to control how much you want this to go for. And then again, the, the, the most important thing is the resolution. Because if you, if you don't resolve it, if this is a E and you play a blues, that's in. But if you play this, that's a whole other sound, you know what I mean? So, but if you kind of play, you see it's kind of like it kind of twisted your ear for a minute and then it comes back to to, to the scale. Twisted blues. Twisted blues. There we go. You Jeez. learned my secret now. <laughs> I'm finished. Everybody can do it. That's it. I have to find something new.
Adam's thing is not too loud. I think it's all right. Yeah? Yeah, yeah the mic is closer to me. Yeah. Hey, there he is. Sup, y'all. What's up? Sup, y'all. 